I finally was making something for dinner and I felt like showing you. So, let me walk you through it. Um, while I'm talking about my dinner tonight, I wanted to tell you about my kindergarten frustrations too. So, we'll talk about that tonight too. So, I tell you guys all the time how much I love my harvest box. But one of the things that happens if we don't use our produce right away, because it is clean, organic produce, it tends to go bad really quickly. So we have found in our house that when we first get our big box, if we make a really big salad for the week and like put it all in this big bowl and just do all the things, so it has green onions, it has carrots, it has that beautiful arugula that we got this week, it has cucumbers, all of the stuff. Unless it, and we don't want we don't add anything like. Um, a hard boiled egg or avocado or anything like that because we don't want it to go bad. So it's like a huge bowl of salad, which is perfect for just grabbing a handful every night to have a side dish. Really great way to have an easy lunch. Make yourself some tuna or some chicken and throw it on top of there or whatever the leftover meat from the night before. If you don't eat meat, throw on some beets, some good roasted vegetables and have that as your salad for the day. Um, so that's what I'm doing tonight because I am just, you know, I'm tired from the week. It's Thursday. I don't really want to make a big dinner. So I just got some chicken thighs tonight. And I'm going to throw those on the barbecue um, with just a little bit of seasoning and some onion. So I'm just slicing up a yellow onion. And I'm going to do um, pretty big slices. I'll show you. Uh, and then I throw that in a foil packet. This has become one of my favorite go-to dinners because... It's super fast, I don't have to think about it. I throw it on the barbecue, set a timer, get my kids ready for bed, jammies, all of that, and then dinner's ready, and I didn't have to really do a whole lot. So what I'm gonna do, um, like I said, I just took all the peels off the onions, and I just cut these um, just down this way. So I'm getting big, um, like half moons. And that way, I have really big, beautiful onions they are going to cook down. Um, they'll be really um, soft. And they kind of lose their onion flavor when you cook them for as long as I do in these oil, in these foil pockets. It, becomes, it steams them and kind of breaks them down. So I've got my onion going here. I'm sorry you guys can't see my cutting board. I'll pull it up for you. So my onion is all cut into the half moons. And I'm going to make myself a little foil packet. And I'm not even going to cut the chicken up. I got boneless, um, skinless thighs because I love the thigh meat. It's so much um, juicier than the chicken breast. And I, and I don't have to worry about it as much. So um, put the onions at the bottom of the foil. And then I'm just going to throw the chicken right on top. Got my foil packet. Got my onions at the bottom of the foil packet. Open up my chicken. And I just got two pounds of chicken thighs because I figured um, whatever John and I don't eat tonight on a salad, we can eat tomorrow for lunch. Um, you can easily do this and put it over a little bit of cauliflower rice or regular rice if you eat rice. Some potatoes would be nice. And you can pick whatever seasoning that you want. So I'm going to use um, the Teeny Tiny Spice Mix Shepherd Herb, Herb Mix. Oh, those onions are starting to get to me because I've been putting them in my face this whole time. Okay. So I've got my meat. I'm gonna just sprinkle some of this beautiful spice on top. And I'm really liberal with my spices because I don't think you should have any lack of flavor. So beautiful herbs on top of my chicken, which are on top of my onions. Wrap that up in my foil packet, nice and tight because I want it to steam on the barbecue. And because my beautiful children will eat my chicken that's all seasoned up on salad, I am making them some hamburgers. And I'll have a couple extra for lunch tomorrow or for something for them for dinner the next day. Anyways, that's all for my dinner. And then I wanted to tell you guys about my, my eyes are watering from those onions. How funny. Um, kindergarten frustration. So, let me take you out with me to the barbecue. So, what happened is my beautiful daughter, who's in kindergarten now, is 
eating lunch with other kids. And it used to be that you could control what they see and what they don't see and what they think kids eat for lunch. And now they're seeing everybody else eat lunch. And so the big problem now is that they see all the crappy foods. So she came to me today and said, Mom, there's this new thing, new thing, that you can bring to school in your lunch, and it's like a make-your-own-pizza kit. Like, you get a little crust, and you can put your sauce and your cheese, and I'm thinking, like, oh my god, she found Lunchables. What am I supposed to do with this? And I kind of just shut it down, but I feel bad, because I told her, you know, luck, not luckily, but my kids do both have, um severe gluten allergies and Lunchables doesn't make a gluten-free option so that's at least one win for me I don't have to be the bad guy I can just say oh sorry they don't make a gluten-free option but the problem is they're gonna continue throughout their life to see kids eating crappy foods at school this is not any kind of a judgment if your kid eats Lunchables good for you but it is becoming it does be, start to become an issue and you do have to start to you know cater a little bit and what I do for her is I say like okay well maybe you can have a, a special snack that's a special treat for you that you really love um, and to kind of counteract that that she's not going to eat Lunchables at school. So that's my kindergarten frustration and I'm sure any other moms out there who have kids with food allergies know what I'm talking about. But uh, anyways, I hope you guys have a great night and I will see you on the next live. Have a good one. Bye!